Here we've laid down some Plastisol ink on our screen and we put a good amount, thinking we could print 20 to 30 shirts with this amount of ink if we wanted to. Um, it's important not to cake up your screen with ink. You can see I got a little bit here on the edge already. Um, if you put way too much on, which people tend to put a lot on when you're starting out, it ends up on your fingers and it ends up on your clothes and it ends up on your shirts that you want to keep it off of. So start out with sparingly uh, adding ink to your, to your screen. So now we'll go ahead and select our squeegee. Here I have an ergonomic aluminum handle squeegee. I want to make sure that you have an inch on either side of your imprint so that you don't have any lines in your print. If your squeegee is more narrow than your print, you'll have a, a line down your print. So here we have a nice wide squeegee. We're going to go ahead and rest it right there. And we'll lift up our screen. And that's going to be good right there for a minute. We have a shirt here. So this is a 100% cotton. Bella Canvas 3001. Lift up, position the shirt right here. Make sure we don't have any wrinkles or anything on our, on our shirt. Nice and flat. We have some adhesive on our platen to make sure that our shirt does not come up and doesn't move when we're printing it. Very important. So go ahead and bring this down and we're ready to roll. I'm going to go ahead and flood the screen. So I'm not going to push ink through the mesh. I'm just going to flood the print area. And when you first start out, that may, may take a couple of swipes to get ink all the way through. And I'm lifting it up off of the shirt just so I don't push ink onto my blank shirt. I don't want it on there yet. So now we have our entire print area flooded. I'm going to do a push stroke with this one. So I'm going to stand back a little bit and get a good grip on my squeegee and I'm going to bring it down to about a 60 degree angle and I'm going to push it. I'm going to stop there. I'm going to flood it one more time and repeat the same process. I'm going to rest my squeegee here, lift up and take a look at our print. Beautiful. So what we're looking for here is no lighter areas in the print. We want a nice, opaque, solid deposit of black ink. And we did two squeegee strokes. The first one was to push the ink into the fibers of the shirt. And the second one was to fill in any microscopic gaps that might have been in our print. So another thing you want to look for in your screen is any areas of ink still left in your print area which there are not. We cleared the mesh. We cleared the ink through the mesh all the way and we got a nice opaque print. That's what we're shooting for.